guys, M.I. Anora Ai here, and today I'm going to be reviewing this Galaxy Z Flip phone. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hey guys, it's me, Minori, and today I'm going to be testing out this phone. Well, sorta. I'm not a tech person, I have no clue what I'm doing, but I thought I could test this out in a way even MKBHD won't even do, and it is by drawing. Oh god, I have the Samsung Z Flip phone! Look, you can fold the screen in half. That is so dope. <laughs> but because you fold the screen in half, there's this random line right in the middle. You can definitely feel it. You can see it. I guess it will kind of bother some people. And I thought to myself, there's actually a lot of people who use their phone and tablets for drawing. And I wonder if this is going to affect the drawing. Obviously, obviously, this phone isn't for drawing. So if you want to use your phone for drawing, maybe you should buy a different one. But I was just curious. I want to try it out. I want to see if this actually affects any drawings. So without further ado, Today, we're going to be testing out this Galaxy Z flip phone, my way by drawing. So let's get started. First off, this is my iPhone 10 or X or which one is it? It's my iPhone and yes, it's not the newest one. And here is my Galaxy flip phone. And I, oops. Okay, I dropped my phone and I have a huge crack in the middle. So let's just peel this off because I don't want this to affect my drawing. Next, I'm going to be using this pen called the Sonar Pen because apparently this is the best pen to draw with. I'm using this app called Ibis Paint, which is free, by the way, not sponsored. And first off, I want to test it out to see how everything works with an iPhone. And seems like it's working. <laughs> oh my god, trust me, you will see a better drawing from me in this video. That's, um, yeah, moving on. Before I draw with my phone, I decided to make a quick sketch with pencil and paper. This isn't really a part of this video, so let's zoom forward. And it seems like I had a very hard time figuring out her pose. <laughs> um, to be honest, I didn't want to make the pose too detailed and complicated because I wasn't sure how precise I was going to be able to draw with using these tools today. So I decided to go with a simple design of Little Red Riding Hood. Before I go in with the Galaxy Z Flip, I wanted to test out with iPhone first. Like, as a control. We'll need to see how it works with a normal phone first to compare with. I took a picture and added it into the layer. This app is surprisingly really, really easy to use. If you're looking for a free app for drawing, I seriously recommend this. I started outlining and as you can see, even if your lines aren't completely straight, there's something called a stabilizer and it will correct your squiggly lines for you. Looking at the iPhone, everything's smooth and easy to work with. Obviously, there are no marks. This screen is very pretty and you can see the small details. Yes, seems like it's working. Since we got the gist of how it works with the iPhone, let's move on to the Galaxy Z Flip. Oh my god, look at my new phone. It's so pretty. Wait, how do you unlock this? Oh, swipe up and I guess I need to add in my password. And let's take a picture. And, um, how do you take a picture? As a longtime iPhone user, everything's kind of throwing me off, but don't worry, I got it. <laughs> and oh my god, <laughs> did you see my face? I hate it when that happens when your phone turns off and all you see is your face. Anyways, I did hear it doesn't have the best camera, but hey, it looks pretty. I like it. So let's dive right into the biggest mystery of this video. Is the crease going to affect the drawing? And how bad is the crease? Let me scribble a bit and mm, it's kind of hard to see, but there is a small dent right where the crease is. It's kind of hard to see, so let me thicken the pen and draw slowly. So what I found out was like if you lightly stroke the screen following the natural curves, yes, you will see a small dent in the lines. But if you kind of press into the screen, maybe with a pen, the crease isn't going to be much of a problem. Can you see the difference? The one in the middle is very squiggly, whereas the one on the right, where I'm pressing down, looks quite straight. It shouldn't bother me too much because I will most likely be using the pen for most of the part. Or so I thought. So for this test today, there are a couple of factors we will need to be keeping in mind. One, is the crease going to affect the drawing? Two, 
How precise would I be able to draw? 3. Is the screen going to be high resolution enough to see the fine details? 4. How smooth will the surface be? I mean, it's supposed to be glass green, so it should be very, very smooth. And lastly, 5. Is it going to leave any marks on the screen? If you have been keeping up with other reviewers, apparently the screen is very fragile and it can make permanent marks just with your fingernails. I mean, I hope not. This is my phone. So I'm not going to be digging into my phone, but let's keep all these factors in mind. Okay, so in this app, you can make small adjustments and changes even if you make unsteady lines. Which is perfect because it's not just about the crease, but because it's such a small surface to work with in the first place, it's really hard to make straight lines. Everything seemed fine at first, but I started to notice that the crease was starting to bother me a little bit. The stabilizer didn't always work in my favor and I sometimes end up with really weird lines. So if you look at me here, I'm actually working mostly on the bottom half of the screen. Like I'm kinda avoiding the middle. Oh, and hey, it seems like you need to watch some ads before you get to use special brushes. And really, Instagram? Do you really need an ad for Instagram? Like everyone knows about it by now. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, maybe follow me on Instagram. <laughs> okay, not the point. Apparently, you get to use special brushes for free for 18 hours before you need to watch an ad again. Continuing, there was also another thing that kind of bothered me. So if you look closely at this Galaxy Z Flip, the rims are kind of bulging out. Like, they have the rims so when you shut the phone, the screens won't clash together. And that rim was actually in my way of drawing. Sometimes I want to make quick strokes and it would get caught on that rim. It was really hard to draw around the edge, so when I want to draw near the edge, I would need to move the picture in the middle so there would be more space. Am I making sense? It's actually 4 in the morning and I am so tired. <laughs> And we are done with the outlining, so let's move on to coloring. My favorite part. <laughs> I hate outlining. So the outlining was the most tedious part, which I found most difficult doing with this phone. You need to make really detailed lines for the outlining, but for the coloring, you could go a little messy with unsteady lines and it will be fine. So after the outlining, I didn't find the crease to be a problem at all. In fact, I kind of forgot about it, and I was literally just having fun coloring it in. Starting with the skin, let's add in some shadows. The eyes are my favorite part. It really brings in the soul into the drawing. Quick pro tip, if you want to make your eyes look really bright, add in a lot of highlight with different colors, like blue and pink, and make the big white highlight into a shape of a diamond. It will make the drawing really cute and pop. Oh, by the way, if there are any characters you would like to see me draw, maybe with this Galaxy phone again, please comment below because I am open for any requests. Oh, the hair. I love doing hair. I usually add like three different layers with three different colors to make shadows. And then add a layer on the top for a swipe up highlight. And another quick pro tip, add in a little bit of skin color on top of the bangs, like so, to kind of blend the bangs into the skin. You could make it more anime-ish without it, but it kind of blends everything together by doing that and it looks nice. Hey, we're almost done! I mean, this drawing itself isn't super detailed, so I'm just finishing up with really easy shadows for the clothes. I think I only made one layer for the shadows. And last pro tip! If you guys are into any pro tips for drawing, specifically for manga drawings, add in a little bit of white on the outer edge like so. It brings light into the drawing. And after 2-3 to three hours of drawing, Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? So after a few hours, this is how my drawing turned out. What do you guys think? I mean, it was my first time using this app, so I had no idea what I was doing at first. I guess it kind of turned out okay, but overall, I have to say yes, 
the fold did affect my drawing by just a little bit. I totally forgot about it around the middle, but at the beginning where I want to make fine lines, it kind of screwed me up a little bit. And very, very sadly, I do see some marks. So while it's supposed to be like glass protective, it is very, very fragile. I mean, this is made so it won't make marks on your screen. And it still left some marks so you could tell how fragile this is. But to the pros, it's really, really beautiful. I really like how big the screen is. While you can hold it around in this size. I mean, look, the screen is really, really pretty. The lines are very distinct and easy to draw. And if I ever have the chance again, I would love to draw using this phone. It was a very, very fun challenge. I got to know more about the Galaxy Z Flip phone, and I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button and maybe the bell button. I'll see you guys next video. Bye!